We're going to be taking apart the Nokia X71. Let's take it out of the box. We're going to remove the SIM tray first. Now you're going to want to use a heat gun or a hair dryer to heat the back of the phone a little bit to loosen up the adhesive. Then we're going to place our pry tool in between the glass and the plastic that's around the frame of the phone. Make sure you don't try to pry off the plastic part that's around the frame of the phone. Get your plastic tool just in between the glass and the plastic part, not the plastic and the metal frame of the phone. All right, now you're going to lift the back glass towards the left side of the phone, but don't pull it up all the way because there's a cable underneath it that goes to the fingerprint scanner over here. You're going to have to disconnect it from the board right there. Let's go ahead and pop that off. that aside. Now we're going to be removing 17 Phillips screws throughout the phone. There are some on top and some on the bottom. Go ahead and remove all 17 Phillips screws. Now once all the screws are out, we're going to lift up this plastic top piece over here and remove this cover. There's a latch right over here. You're going to have to pop up. You got a water damage indicator over here. Now for those of you who always keep mentioning the battery, yep. Here's the battery cable right here. We're gonna disconnect it before we do anything else. Now we're gonna disconnect this cable over here. Now there's a black cable over here. We're gonna disconnect this one as well. Now we're gonna remove this plastic speaker assembly down here. Another water damage indicator over here. Now we're gonna remove the charger port board down here. There's a cable here you can also detach from the board. Now next there are three pull tabs for the battery to pry that off. You're gonna have to pull them. I can lift up the battery, remove that. So now at this point you can see the screen cable over here that gets connected to the board over here. So if you wanted to remove the screen or replace it, you would have to remove the battery first since the cable is run through over here, the slit over here in the frame. Now go ahead and disconnect the cable for the screen. It's right here, goes all the way to here. Now let's disconnect the cable for the volume keys and power button. Now let's remove this copper colored shield or tape that's over here. Peel that off. It's covering the connector for the front facing camera. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the front facing camera. I'm gonna remove that. So here are the numbers on the cable for the front facing camera. All right, now removing the main board is a little bit difficult. There's a catch here, one over here as well and one in the corner right there. So work your way from this corner, try to get your pry tool in between the main board and the frame. And then when you get that, hopefully these two catches over here will release without any more trouble. Then you have one in the corner right there. There you go. Slide out the board. Now here we got the back side of the board. In order to remove the cameras, there's a protective tape over here. Lift that up. And you can disconnect this camera right over here. Put 
that one aside. Disconnect the cables for the other two cameras. Here are the numbers for the cables on the cameras right there. You have your SIM reader down here. You have your headphone jack right here. Your light sensors over here. On the other side, you have a microphone right over here. And you also have one on the charger port board, which is located right over here. So pretty much you're left with the mid frame, your earpiece speaker right over here, your vibrator motor down here, your other cable at least for your power switch and volume cables over there, and the screen itself. So if you want to basically remove the screen or replace it, you just have to heat it up the same way you did the back. And then you're gonna pry the screen off from the mid frame. Just remember you pry it off from where the plastic starts, not where the metal frame starts. So make sure not to pry off that plastic that goes around the screen. And then you'd slide your cable through the slit over here in the frame, replace the new screen, slide the cable through it, and then you'd connect it to the main board and then just reverse the process. So we're gonna go ahead and put everything back together. I'm gonna reattach the cameras. Now we're gonna place the main board back in. We're gonna put the top in first, slide it in. And then gently seat it back in this place. Now go ahead and put the front facing camera back in and reconnect it. Then go ahead and connect your screen cable back to the main board. And then your volume and power cable as well. Now we're gonna apply some new adhesive for the battery. place the battery back in place. Next we're going to place the charger port back in. Now we're going to put the speaker assembly back in. And then we're going to run this cable back to the slot around. Now we're gonna reattach it to the main board over here. Now we're gonna reconnect this cable that goes for the charger port board back to the main board. And then we're gonna reconnect the battery cable back to the main board as well. Now we're gonna put the plastic cover back over the main board, put the top in first. And then pop the rest of the catches back in place. Now we're going to put all 17 Phillips screws back in. Once all the screws are back in place, we're going to reconnect the fingerprint scanner cable right here, back to the main port over there. Now once the cable is connected, if you need to apply some new adhesive around the frame of the phone, reapply your back glass right here. Press down. We're gonna flip it over. Power it on. And you're done. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.